In this video, the A255 programmable peripheral interface will be programmed in mode 0 to have three basic I.O. ports which will allow the interfacing of 8-bit peripherals. The A255 PPI was designed and manufactured by Intel back in the 70s to allow the 8085 and 8086 microprocessors interfacing with various peripherals such as keyboards and display devices. The 8255 was also used in the original IBM PC. The 8255 IC is a 40 pin IC and we have pins associated with port A from PA0 to PA7 and we have pins for port B from PB0 to PB7 and we have port C which is split into lower part of the port C from P0, PC0 to PC3 and the upper half of port C is PC4 to PC7. We also have eight bidirectional data lines from D0 to D7 and these are interfaced with the data bus of the microcomputer system. The control pins are read, write, reset and chip select and they are interfaced with the control bus of the microcomputer system. Finally we have the pins A0 and A1 which is connected to the address bus of the system. A block diagram of the 8255 is shown here. These are the three ports, port A which is bidirectional 8-bit port, port B again bidirectional and port C is split into two parts the lower part of port C and the upper part of port C each being four bits wide. The data lines D0 to D7 are bidirectional and they are interfaced with the data bus. The CPU can send a byte to one of the ports through these lines or vice versa a, a port can send a byte to the CPU. Finally the control lines read, write and the address lines A1 and A0 will determine whether the ports are input or output ports. The A255 can be programmed to operate in one of three modes mode 0, mode 1 and mode 2. In mode 0 the three ports A, B and C are basic I.O. ports, 8-bit I.O. ports designed to interface with simple 8-bit peripherals. In mode 1 ports A and B are strobed I.O. ports. In other words ports A and B can use some of the pins of port C for handshaking. Mode 1 is useful if we want to interface more complex peripherals. Mode 2 is similar to mode 1 but now we have a bidirectional bus. To program the PPI in one of the three modes the CPU has to send a control byte that will determine the mode of operation of the A255 and this has to be done before any data transfer is achieved between the CPU and the A255. In this project we'll be programming the A255 to operate in mode 0 and that all the ports A, B and C are only output ports and to do this we have to send this 8-bit uh, command byte to the control register inside the A255. This table here shows us how to set the ports either for read or for write. So a combination of the address lines A1, A0 and the control lines read, write and chip select. Through these combinations we can determine whether we are uh, reading from the 8255 port or writing to the 8255 port. In today's video we will only be doing the output operation, the write, whether we are writing from the data bus to port A or port B 
or ports here or sending a control by to the control register inside the 8255 now let's have a look at the 8255 circuit used in this project we have three bar graph displays connected to this one is connected to port A this one is connected to port B and this one is connected to port C next we have this 8-bit dip switch connected to the eight data lines of the 8255 through the switch we first provide the command byte to set the 8255 in one of the modes in our case will be mode 0 and also that the ports are output once this is done we will then set the byte to be uh, sent to either port A or port B or port C the read pin is connected to VCC to disable it since we are only doing writing and the write pin is connected to this uh, push button and uh, every time we push a button the byte uh, selected by the dip switch will be transferred into the 8255 address lines A0 and A1 are connected to this 2-bit uh, dip switch which provides the addressing of the 8255 so for example when we have 00, 0 it means we are communicating with port A 01 means we are communicating with port B 10 would be port C and 11 means we want to send a command byte to the 8255 finally we have the reset pin connected to this push button here and by pressing the push button we will reset all of the internal registers uh, inside the 8255 now let's program the 8255 first we select the command register address which is 11 next we select the command byte value then we send the byte by pressing the right button next we select the address of port A and set a byte value at the data lines and send the byte to port A by pressing the right button we do the same for port B and for port C In a future video, I will program the 8255 PPI in mode 1 to have ports A and B support handshake signals. Thank you for watching.